Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, baby. Sunny Thursday in the Tri-State. We got a package, another one, from Alice. Alice Hill. Alicord Paracord. The Paracord Queen. And it's a big one. It's big, 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 not small. Matter of fact. So we're going to open it up right now. That's right, a package from Alice. Alice, thank you once again. I vaguely remember what's in this future me. You're going to have a lot of work to do on this one. It's been a long day. I don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. Uh, we're going to use, I don't have Alice's knife here. I do, but I don't want to gunk it up. Alice sent me the Ziphius to check out. This was Alice. Thank you, Alice. I'm not going to use that. I don't want to gunk it up. We'll just use the good old golf wall, baby. Why not, huh? Let's, why is my camera all wonk do today? Clean yourself up. There we go. Big package, big boxer, big boxer. We're gonna see, dude. I'm excited. I think I know what this is. I do know what this is. I just don't know what it's called. I think is the issue. Night Star, Death Star, Star Wars, something like that. This is a nightmare situation here. There we go. Nothing left in there. See? We got an Amazon package. Okay. More tape, Alice. You never, you know, you never let me down with the tape. You always got the tape for me, dude. If only I could reuse it or something. I can't, but I'll reuse the box. Hello? Mom? Let's see here. Skittles! And peanuts! And Starburst! Alice, you know me too well. Let's, uh, let's see if we can, without making a mess. Yes, get my little sausage out. Let's gingerly sis, put this on the ground. Get out of here. Let's take a look here. Is it a sausage? Alice, did you send me... Alice, did you send me a sausage? Uh, is this... Ooh. Yeah, I remember what this is. Say it. Alice, this has got to stop. This is too much, dude. Pepperoni's fucking up your packaging, Alice. So thanks for the free cat toy. It's too kind. It's too kind. Ch seriously. Seriously. It's too kind. Just let me in. I don't want to injure it. Ooh, beautiful box. Get out of here. Let's zoom you in for full effect. Beautiful box. Gamer Star Studio GS Knives. That's what it says. Nice, really nice box. Got the sleeve. Oh my god. Good lord, we got the planet here. This is an experience. You ready? Let's let me clear. Let me clear. Clear the space. Make room. Make room. Get out of here. Open. Oh, and it butterflies open. Oh my god. This is way too fancy for me. And then. Oh my god. We got a nice cloth here in a baggie. We got a schematics. Schematics. What is this called? Is this the one with the crazy new locking mechanism? I think it is. Or you can take it apart with no tools. I'm not even going to try. There it comes with tools and screws and extra bearings and all kinds of stuff. This. This is an unboxing experience. This is this is spectacular. Uh, Wow. Wow, A plus already. I haven't even seen the knife. The packaging? Oh, top tier, dude. So we got a little pouch a Let me zoom you in. A little pouch. Unpouch. Open. Ooh, yeah, I remember. I remember now. I believe this is a first design from this maker or studio. GS Knives. This, what's it called? Mom. This is uh, Future Me. Future Me. The Night Star. Future Me. What's this called? Oh boy, really nice knife. Uh, insane angles going on here. Real wild handle shape. Uh, very nice, gorgeous. Timascus clip. Real weird, like door knocker, doorknob, thumb studs. Literal doorknobs. Nice Timascus pivot collar here. A little uh dome on the show side, and a dome. Very minimal hardware. It's literally just the pivot screw that I can visually see. But let's open it up. Ooh, nice and snappy. Oh, and aggressive. Look at that. Tanto. It's a Tonto Poon. It's a Poonanto. Wow. Honestly, really nice looking blade. Uh, compound grind. So hollow on the flat and then a nice sturdy flat grind here at the tip. Gorgeous swedge. Nice little harpoon feature here. Beautiful profile. Size comparison real quick. Here's the old rock wall that we used. 
Not a huge knife. A little bit longer than the rock wall, a little bit taller. And the pair and the and the pair of three. Here's Spider Co pair three. Yeah, so a, a great size for EDC. This is like my ideal size range here. Uh, so that, there you go. Nice. Good stuff. Get these out of the way. Future Me, I still don't know what this is called. The Night Star, the Night Casanova design. Uh, there's a lot happening here. And I'm not, I'm going to come short. So Future Me, get ready. Buckle up. Ergos in hand. Oh, yeah. Feels nice. A lot of crazy angles on the handle, but it nestles in really well. Nice jimping on the blade spine. Feels good. Right, nestle in right behind the poon, choke up a little bit. Feels great. Excellent, even. Thick, uh, real thick handles. Is it an inset lock? It is. So not a, not a liner lock, it's an inset lock. Lock up solid as a rock. Pinch grip? Oh, yeah. All day. All day long. Super aggressive uh, warning. Not sure the blade steel. Future me? Blade steel? Gee, thanks. Uh, let's check the action real quick. Oh, my. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord Jesus! Action's absurd! Oh, running on ceramic bearings. Oh, the noise? I, I'm kind of a fan. Reverse flick feels great. Nice and snappy detent. Thumb flick, same. Love the placement of the thumb studs. And honestly, even though they literally look like doorknobs, they work great. Super easy to get a hold of. Great access to the uh, lock bar in there. Acoustics, listen to this. Just listen. The thwockiness is absurd. Oh. Oh. My Lord Jesus. I don't know the blade steel still. I really don't know what it's called still, but I really like it. So, okay, this is the craziest thing about this knife. You see that little T6 down there? That that lonely screw down there? That's how you disassemble the whole knife. So it works kind of like the cyber tricks, I think, where you pop off the backspacer and the rest of it just falls away. I'm not going to try it. It's not my knife, and it's not cheap. Um, I want to say these were OEM by Best Tech or Rayon Future Me. Who OEM these? I don't remember. And how much do these cost, future me? I don't remember. Thanks. Gorgeous. Uh, I had my doubts looking at the pictures of this, but in person, I am really impressed. <sighs> Very much impressed. So we ought to cut something with it. Let me get the phone book out. Pepperoni? Excuse me, sir. Got the old phone book. Let's see if she'll cut. Oh. Oh, God, it's good. It's so slicey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm happy about that. Factory Edge is money. This is brand new. I'm pretty sure Alice got it, unboxed it, took some pictures, and then sent it straight to me. Uh, so, thank you, Alice. Way too kind. God, cutting performance is unreal. Once again, compound ground Tonto. Future Me Blade Steel. Thank you. M390? Maybe. That is, insert knife name here. Uh, unboxing experience? Top tier. Uh, action? Amazing. Fidget factor? Great. Acoustics? Top notch. Cutting performance? Yeah. Ergos? All day. I really didn't like the way it looked visually in pictures, but again, in person, man, that's a good knife. Uh, I will leave links to this down below if they're still available, even if they're not, uh, and I will link Alice as well, so be sure to follow her. Thank you so much, Alice. Really cool. Honestly, way worth checking out. I Again, I have my doubts, but I'm impressed. Uh, I'm interested to see somebody do a disassembly. Like I said, you just unscrew that one little screw in there, and that's it. There's no more hardware other than the pivot. There's just nothing. Hidden hardware on the clip. It's interesting. That is it from me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about insert knife uh, name here. Future me. Thanks. Uh, there will be plenty of pictures of this on my Instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to follow us both there. But that is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Thank you.